This video is a little different. It's in the workshop, a working model of a Windermere kettle for a 4 inch scale traction engine. So what is a Windermere kettle? Well they're normally found on steamboats, but this one is a miniature Windermere kettle that's going to be used on a 4 inch scale traction engine. So what are they all about? Well if you think about it, if you sat on your steamboat on a lovely summer's day, and you really fancy a cup of tea, well how do you make one without a Windermere kettle? The main steam boiler is full of boiling water, so that could be used, apart from the fact that it may have water treatment chemicals in it. And apart from being poisoned, the chemicals will probably make your tea taste funny as well. My friend Ben has made this miniature Windermere kettle to sit on the running boards of a 4 inch scale traction engine. And this is so that the owner of the traction engine can make a cup of tea whilst he's riding along on his traction engine. So today we're going to test this one that Ben's just made. I'm using my Castle steam boiler on the bench and it's gas fired at the moment, not coal fired. In this clip, Ben's removed the lid of the Windermere kettle and is now filling it with water. We have all the necessary equipment. We have a cup, a tea bag and some milk. But as of yet, we don't have a lot of steam pressure. So how does the Windermere kettle work? Very simply, there's a steam coil inside the tank that heats the water. That's the new whistle on the Castle steam boiler, and we now have 60 pounds per square inch on the clock. A Windermere kettle is a very simple device. It's just like the kettle you have in the kitchen, except it doesn't have an electric immersion heater, it just has a steam coil. And as soon as I open the valve to let some steam through the coil, in no time at all, the water starts to bubble. And now the water's boiling, and this is Ben opening the tap to release the water into the cup. The cup has been pre-loaded with a tea bag, so now we need to see what happens. The cup is filling up and the excitement is mounting. I'm not too sure whether this first cup of tea is going to taste too good though. After Ben made this Windermere kettle and silver soldered it together, it's been in Ben's acid bath and it's very clean in one sense, but there will be some scale kicking about inside the tank, which will probably find its way into the cup. As the water level inside the Windermere kettle drops, the water starts to boil quite violently. So Ben's currently topping it up with some cold water. We turn the tap off, of course, it's not going straight through into the cup. In no time at all, though, the water starts to boil, so Ben's opened the tap again. And yes, I do believe that the cup is nearly full. All it needs now is a quick stir of the tea bag in... Uh, oh dear, look at the mess. Ugh, I'm not drinking that. Even though the Windermere kettle was supposed to be clean after being in Ben's acid bath, we'll try some milk in the tea and see if that improves things. And no, it really makes it worse. Neither of us really wanted to drink this. I tried to encourage Ben to drink it, saying, well, you know, they're only black bits, there won't be anything, but he refused to drink it. This is one of my daughter Charlotte's cups. She had some made when she started Charlotte's Steam Clinic. The Steam Clinic is still active. It's a forum where you can discuss steam problems but Charlotte doesn't have much to do with it really because she doesn't have the time. And I certainly don't because I'm far too busy making tea. Well, this second cup is looking a little bit more promising. It appears not to have quite as much contamination in the tea itself. So once we filled the cup, we gave it a little bit of time to brew. We just left the tea bag in there for a while, but no, it wasn't good. It was still fairly horrible. While the tea is brewing, we'll have a look at the other side of the cup where it says, science owes more to the steam engine than the steam engine owes to science. This second cup of tea is really not as bad as the first one, but it's still something that I'd rather not drink. This is running in slow motion, so you can really see the detail of how bad this cup of tea is. I would estimate maybe another three or four pints of water through the kettle should clean it up. Time to play with my new chime whistle. And that seems to work quite well. There you have it. This is a Windermere kettle, albeit a small one. A really useful gadget to have if you run steam engines and need to make tea. And once again, all it is is a copper coil inside the tank. You have a steam inlet and a steam outlet. If you would like one of these Windermere kettles, then you can contact Ben and he will make you one. He will make them in any size to suit the application, within reason and Ben's email details have been at the top of the screen for a while.
Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. <laughs>